In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this warning sign for my Slovenian beehive. I start by using Corel Draw to define a rectangle that's 5.5 inches tall by 18 inches wide. This is uh, the size of sign I want to create, so I assize all my text and images accordingly. Here I've added text, removed the inner colors, and the outline of a honeybee. I export the drawing and bring it into a VCAR so that I can uh, create my tool paths. Here I'm using a 1 8 inch bit and as you can see we lose some of the details because the bit is just too big. So what I did is I created a tool path for a 1 16th inch uh, end mill. Let's see what that looks like. As you can see, it looks like we were able to capture all the detail. It's just going to take a long time for this to carve this out. So let's get started. Because of the delicacy of the bit, I have to go pretty slow. I think I'm going in about uh, 50 inches a minute here. And I'm taking, I'm going no deeper than dot zero three deep or I'll, this bit will break. So, uh, it's, a, it's a long time going here. Once the CNC operation is completed, I start painting the inside of the letters with my various colors. In this case, it's going to be some red acrylic paint for the warning sign and then black for everything else. I'm not too worried about getting paint on the outside, mainly because uh, we're going to sand this down um, and any paint that, that uh, is outside the lettering will, will be sanded away. Once the paint has dried, I start my sanding process. I'm using some uh, 80 grit uh, sandpaper. Um, since these are uh, rough cut uh, fence boards, uh, there's a, a lot of the fuzz to remove. Um, so I, it, it, it takes a while to get it all off. You can, you can see where I've dropped some uh, some paint. There's some paint drops here. I'll have to hit that pretty hard to get rid of those. But since the letters are recessed and that's where the the uh, letter colors are painted, um, all the sanding that we do doesn't affect the uh, the colors whatsoever. The next step is to add some uh, small hooks to the uh, top of the sign which I'll use to hang it. 
I start by uh, using a punch to mark where I want my hole and I deal, drill the pilot hole. Just a little bit smaller than the, the, the hook's threads. Next I screw the hook in. And when this is done, the sign's ready to hang. So I actually made three signs and unfortunately my only 1 16th inch bit broke on the final final bit on uh, on the uh, first one so I had to move to an eighth inch bit and all I did is I used the same path as the 1 16th inch bit uh, but changed the depth of cut so that it could cut deeper and a little faster and I was able to produce the sign in in a quarter of the time and it still looks pretty good I still have a lot, all the detail the, the letters are actually bigger so that worked I placed uh, signs in three locations two on the sides of the structure that covers the uh, uh, the outside portion of the hive and one in the center well that's pretty much it so be sure to visit my uh, website, mycelivinionhive.com, and until next time.